What's up guys? DRock1992 here. This is going to be the second kind of part. I have to kind of finish up the uh, Rocky V review because I was interrupted. Uh, so I'm going to do the second part of this. I left off on the street fight uh, between Tommy Gunn and uh, Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa and Tommy Gunn, they go at it. They fight, you know, you know, Rocky gets the advantage first, then Tommy Gunn takes the advantage. And then Rocky is very much, he looks like he's out of it. He, his tremors start coming, his, not his shaking, but he had tremors. Uh, he had trauma, not tremors, but trauma of the fight between him and Drago, and tr uh, trauma of Apollo Creed dying in Rocky IV, and all that, and that basically kind of eggs him on it. Something like that motivates Rocky, and he comes right back, and he beats Tommy Gunn in that street fight, and... Everybody's cheering for Rocky and all that sort of thing. George Washington Duke was mad in the first place because Tommy Gunn and Rocky fought in the street, not in the ring, like Gunn wanted him, or Duke wanted to. And uh, I think the last part was kind of pretty funny, where uh, George Washington Duke is, uh, is egging on Rocky. Rocky's getting really pissed and... George Washington Duke is like, touch me and I'll sue you. He says that a couple of times, and then Rocky just punches him in the gut, and he falls down on the car, or on his car, and um, that was that was a good moment right there, because George Washington Duke was a douche in this movie, and Rocky really gave him the goods there. Uh, the last part of that movie... I didn't particularly like it. Tommy Gunn showed no remorse after he was beaten. Showed nothing at all. In fact, it really didn't show much. The police took him away uh, after he got beaten. And that's just... It's something that... It, it shouldn't have happened that way. Um, I'm sorry about that, my cat. Uh... But anyway, um, it really shouldn't have happened like that. I think Tommy Gunn, I think the ending would have been better if Tommy Gunn had shown a little more remorse for, you know, really trashing Rocky and, uh, you know, abandoning him basically and all that sort of thing. So I really think that would have been, that would have done the movie a lot better. If Tommy Gunn had shown emotion, you know, and really made up with Rocky after the fight. It kind of like Apollo 2 when, or I mean Apollo 2, Rocky 2, when Rocky and Al Apollo, um, um, Rocky and Apollo, you see they kind of make up a little bit. Apollo's kind of respecting Rocky after the fight. Uh, Rocky goes up to Apollo and, you know, shakes his hand and kind of, uh, Show is humble about it, and Apollo really appreciates that. This fifth film did the wrong thing of having Tommy Gunn, you know, not show any emotion at all. That was a downfall of this movie. Overall, though, besides that, and besides the drama between Rocky and his son kind of happening just like that, you know, a scene where, you know... They disagree. It's like, I hate you, Dad. But then, a couple minutes later, it's, I love you, Dad. The drama should have been more drawn out, I think. Uh, but I kind of understand it because he and uh, his son and him, uh, they reconcile. But it's right after Tommy Gunn leaves him. And he kind of realizes that Adrian kind of gives him a talk after that. You know, you're losing your family and all that sort of thing. And Rocky has to reconcile with his son. And I just... Those two parts right there, other than those two parts, I really did like this movie. Um, I think 
it probably I haven't seen Rocky Balboa yet. You know, the new Rocky Balboa came out in 2006. I'll be doing a review of that sometime. I don't know when. But Rocky V, yeah, probably is... I don't know. It's one of my favorites. Uh, probably my favorite Rocky movie uh, would probably be either 3 or 4. But 5 was good. 5 was good. It might have been the worst one, probably, but not by much. Uh, overall, I would give Rocky 5 a probably a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Three, maybe three. I'll say three. Yeah, three and a half out of five stars. That's fine. Other than those two parts that I mentioned, this was a good watch. I like the family dynamic between Rocky and his son. Uh, that part was very good. Um, I liked uh, the dynamic between him and Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn turning on him, uh, and uh, it's just it's just a very good story I think and uh, it's different than the other Rocky films because Rocky doesn't get in the ring and fight he fights street style and I think that's a good homage to his earlier days in the in the rock in Rocky one Rocky one he was a club fighter but he basically probably used street tactics uh, raw street tactics in his fights in the first Rocky movie. So a solid movie overall, definitely. And that is it for this review. D-Rock 1992 out.